Hello everyone. My name is Sunil Yoshi and I am part of the OCIM team. Today I'll be talking about the identity domains. An identity domain is a resource in OCI and a container for resources like user groups, dynamic groups, and for configuring applications for authentication, authorization, and identity lifecycle management. Identity domain also deliver a single unified identity that can be used across Oracle IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS offerings. Identity domain allows you to easily manage users, groups, dynamic groups, and also secure applications using OAuth, federation, and enable multi-factor authentication and adaptive access. You can configure user provisioning and import users from AD using AD Bridge or other directories using provisioning bridge. You can configure PAM and Radius Proxy app from Identity Domain and also configure app gateways for application that does not support OAuth or SAML protocol. Identity Domain is a resource in OCI. Therefore, like any other resource, you can write policies for Identity Domains and also scope domain to a compartment. You can create identity domain for each of your environment. For example, you can create a domain for dev, test, production, pre-production. You can also segment user population by creating domain for consumer users and a separate domain for system integrators who are building your custom solutions. You can easily manage these multiple domain from one console and can go back and forth to do configurations in these domains. Let's see it live. Once you get your Oracle tenancy, you will get a welcome email to sign in. You click on sign in to log in to a default domain. Each tenancy comes with a default identity domain. So let's sign in to the default domain. You sign in with the ID that you provided at the time of creating the Oracle Cloud account. Now let's navigate to the default domain. You can navigate to the default domain from profile menu default domain or from identity and security and domains. Under users, you will see a tenant ad admin who is automatically added to the administrator group. Tenant admin is a super user in tenancy and he gets the tenant admin privileges from the policy. So if you look at the policy here, the tenant admin policy is giving permission to manage all the resources in tenancy. One tenancy will have only one default domain and it will be auto-migrated to all the tenancy subscribes region. You can create new additional domain, also known as the secondary domain. Each tenancy can have more than one secondary domain. Let's create a new secondary domain. We'll give it a name and description. We have to choose a domain type. Domain type determines which features will be available in the domain. Let's choose the free domain that comes with the MFA support. You can read more on the domain types in the documentation.
let's create an administrator for this domain. You can create the administrator with the same username and email, or you can provide a different username and an email address. You can also choose a compartment to scope this domain. And within minutes, you, a new domain will be created. We have got a welcome email for the admin of the secondary domain to activate his account. So let's click on that activation link to activate the account. Now the secondary domain admin has, it has logged into the secondary domain. You can go to the secondary domain from my profile and clicking on that domain. Now secondary domain admin is logged in and he can further create users, groups, dynamic groups, and configure applications in that particular domain. To recap, Identity Domain makes OCI IAM a powerful and simple to use platform that serves as an access control plane across all Oracle cloud offerings and a robust enterprise identity and access management for complex hybrid IT environments.